Hello, my name is Steve Main, and I am a Renaissance gamer. I play a little bit of everything, and everything I play with a little bit of skill. I'm in the Hearthstone ladder, and I'm shooting for rank 15. I'm currently 16 and 2 stars, and I'm on a winning streak. So if I win one game, I will be level, I will be rank 15. So if I win, whoever I'm about to play is ruthlessly defeated by me. I hit my goal, and then I guess the next series is Road to 14. I don't know. We'll come up with something. But uh, this is this is my goal right now. So I'm against El Vejo. Vejo. I, I, I have no. Uh, we're going up against L. Um, let's throw a hex back. And hang on to Lightning Bolt and the Harvest Golem for early game removal and a good round three play. Okay, Argent Squire. Nice first turn play. Greetings, I can always tote him for round two if I need to. Or coin into the uh, Harvest Golem. I love the Argent Squire as a round one play because the Divine Shield makes it almost impossible to kill in, in one turn or with one card. I mean, it's still possible, but it is unlikely. So we have a gator. And we'll shoot the gator. I am also going to point into the fairy dragon. I, I just like the fairy dragon. It's another one of those really hard to get rid of cards. The, the fact that it can't be targeted by spells or my opponent's hero power means he has to put something that charges or has a battle cry into play. So. And I'm actually going to use all my mana and summon a totem. So, I, I try not to leave mana unused. I don't like doing it. Um, sometimes it's unavoidable. But, well, he hit exactly the two people he wanted to. Um, bugger. Let's see. Let's... Harvest Golem and another Argent Squire. So, so my Shaman deck, it's, it's kind of a rush deck. I want to throw out a lot of creatures and then bloodlust and run my opponent over and uh, it works with surprising efficiency um, it's, uh, it's fairly effective I don't know what the hunter is playing right now he hasn't really been allowed actually he isn't he's just had the one creature in play so I don't know I am going to hang on to that. Let's card out. And let's do some card draw here. I fight. I fight. I'm going to hang on to the Swamp Ooze because Hunters can be a weapon heavy deck. So, you know, which is the whole reason I have the Swamp Ooze in here is to deal with uh, weapon decks. And Hunters have a couple of really nasty weapons. So, yeah, well, that was actually a pretty decent play. Get rid of my <laughs> card draw. We are apparently going to be 12, 30, 40, 50, 16. Okay, let's do this. This. I didn't attack with the command. Damn it. Okay, I should have attacked with the Argent Commander, and I did not. That was a misplay. Um, okay, what did he just drop? That didn't quite hit the mark. Yeah, I imagine. Let's see. Let's see what this does. Oh, it's still his turn. So, so I have lethal, 
Unless that's an explosive trap. If that's an explosive trap, I can't kill him. That didn't quite get the mark. Now let's find out if it's an explosive. It is not an explosive trap. So, we have just won. We have hit the goal with one day left before they... or theoretically one day left before they reset the servers. We are rank 15. We have hit Silver Moon Guardian. Hooray! <laughs> now let's, let's keep going. Let's see where we end up here. Let's see what we can do. I am I'm going to be honest. I'm very excited about this. I'm I have not been below 15. I accomplished it once before I started recording all these just to see if I could get there again. So let's see if uh Let's see if my shaman deck can uh, take me forward. Wow. Let's see. Um these are all interesting cards. Let's but the, the two I got rid of are... Eh, that's kind of a late game card as well. Oh, well. Let's see. Greetings, friend. In the light. Let's throw out the Light Warden. I need to play something. I would, I've got two of these. I would rather play them later with a Healing Totem and a couple creatures that have taken damage in play. This gets really nasty really fast. Uh, every time something is healed, and it doesn't matter if it's me, my opponent, anything, uh, this gets plus two attack. And he is just not even going to let that sit around a little bit. <laughs> Ultimately, probably the smartest course of action. Okay, um, I am going to totem this round. I could have thrown out the leper gnome, but... I think dropping a totem is probably a better decision. I don't like uh, not having... You know, like I said, I don't like not using mana. And the axe has overload one, so he's only got one mana this round. So that actually will... Yes, that was beautiful. So we're gonna totem. And... Job done. Noom. So, let's see. Okay. Well, I can lightning bolt that. He'll get a card out of it. Okay. Alright, Leper Gnome ends up doing four. Which is about what I, I want it to do. It's the, the expectation and hope is for damage. So he'll get a card. But other than turning it into a frog, there's really no way to get rid of that. And I don't want to use a hex to prevent him from drawing a card, quite frankly. I don't care if he gets an extra card. And then I have the hex now to deal with that. So. Unfortunately, it also means that I'm. Uh, I don't have anything else I can do. Fork yeah, lightning. So that's a pretty much a guarantee. Although he did waste a spell on two essentially free creatures. Throw this out. We'll get cards off of that. Here's what we'll do. Lightning Storm will kill both of those. And he won't get any card draw this time. And we'll throw two... I mean, unless he's got... Well, even if he's got another Fork Lightning, it won't kill the Argent Squire, so... Sadly, next round I'll only have five mana. I won't be able to 
Well, you know what? That's that's not a bad deal for me if he's gonna punch into a fairy dragon like that. I can't complain too much. Totem. I fight. I'm gonna just hit him. And then next round I get an Argent Commander, which will easily deal with the uh, Fairy Dragon. And then the round after that I get an Argent Commander. Okay. Oh, nice Earth Shock. That's actually a really good way to... About the only way you can kill this in a single card is Earth Shock. There may be others I'm just not thinking of them right now. Oh, there's a couple of Priest abilities that would do it as well. Hmm. We throw out this. So let's see what we get here. Okay, taunt. That works. Let's pull that out. So, I'm guessing he's gonna kill... Okay, lightning bolt. Juggler. Another fairy dragon. Oh, wow. The juggler worked out really well for him. Alright, so I have a fantastic nine point play here. Okay, just get rid of the knife juggler. The, the knife juggler damage potential is just way too high to leave floating around. So. Uh, what's he got? You can kill through both of my, uh, foresight. Interesting. Okay, so he'll be able to draw a couple cards out of that. So I'm guessing he's going to trade off both of his fairy dragons for my uh, frost wolves. Lightning Storm. <laughs> I've used both of my Lightning Storms now to get rid of his uh, cult leader. That I... Sometimes the universe works in amusing way. And let's see what else we're going to get here. Alright. Put this apple on your head! Knife juggler.
personal choice. My shield for our. Oh. I'm trying to think of a card I have that will actually turn this around for me at this point. And I don't actually think I have one. Oh, yeah. I've used both of my lightning storms. Um, well, played. well, let's let's give him the match. Oh, that was a good game. That was excellent. That was a solid yellow. Not bad. All right. Well, we've hit 15. Let's see if we can keep it. I'm gonna grab one more game here. See what we can do. What's out there waiting for us? There's got to be something. <sighs> Get a drink of water there. So, so, we're looking for an opponent. We're well past the wait time. So, I don't know. I'm thinking this this has gone well. I'm I'm you know what? I'm still jazzed. I hit 15. I hit 15. It was awesome. So let's see what we've got. Another worthy opponent. Of the, the opponent. Uh, seven deadly. Playing a mage. Okay, Doomhammer. Uh, throw back Doomhammer and the Mana Tide Totem. Interesting. There's a lot of stuff going on right there. Greetings, friend. Let's go square. There's a couple of spells they could use. Um, Arcane Explosion does one point across the board. That would get rid of two of my creatures. Fire Blast will get rid of one of them. Okay, they're going to take out the Leopard. I could see why that's a perfectly legitimate idea. Let's drop this. Into a tone. So now they've got some options that they may not want. Seven, what do you got for me? I mean, mages have got so many like options. Ooh, free secret? Mm -hmm. right, so, lightning bolt. And this. Even though I've only got one mana left, and I know I don't like to not use my mana, I don't want to throw everything out. We're getting towards, um, in one more level, we're going to be at Blizzard range. And I just don't want to... Huh. Well, that actually ends up being really useful for me. I am going to throw him out now. Let's 
So Blizzard will suck. We have many secrets. The cure to our mage. On to secrets. Okay, so I'm going up against a Mage Murloc deck, clearly, at this point. I don't think... What will that do? I don't have enough mana. Ah. Face the light. to flame strike. Someday I'll be just like you. We are not up Someday to flame I'll strike. Like I'll see now I would have played that first. I think we got time for one more. Let's grab one more game. See what we can do. I'm definitely going to play this some more. I don't know if I'll record any more games of, with this particular deck. I may just do another silly deck tomorrow or something fun, frivolous, and ridiculous unless I get up to a particularly impressive level. Using my shaman deck. So, Sifu. Sifu. You asked for it. For Doom Sifu? Hammer. Maybe. I don't know. Um, let's see. Get rid of Bloodlust. Hang on to first week of Wild Pyro. I'm gonna drop the Wild Pyromancer. Yeah. I got the other Bloodlust. Not the ideal opening, uh, ideal opening hand for me here. I'll be. Well, that helps a little. Greetings, friend. The light protects me. So Ready for it. action. Oh, yes. What do we get? I'm going to sit there. I'm going to make him attack her to get rid of the... Uh... Do you need a blessing? <laughs> Okay, let's... Feral Spirit. And... Uh. So, what do we got? Uh... Can't hit that, there's taunters in the way. That's an interesting choice. Ready for action. Let's see. So the 
this in. Man, I actually will be able to throw out the doom hammer. Just start swinging. What to do? What to do? I mean, you know, it's, that was a lot of work to get rid of that one guy. Well, there's two people, but... So let's actually go in this direction with it. Okay, so... We're getting towards the major AoEs for the mage. Uh, Blizzard at six, Flame Strike at seven. What to do? What to do? I may actually consider bloodlusting next round. In case they have a blizzard. Um, let's, yeah, let's do this, I think. So, I'm gonna take four points of damage. So they've got card advantage, I've got board advantage, and because they haven't immediately played it, I'm guessing they don't have a blizzard. Because really, that's the only thing that. What to do? What to do? Uh, Doomsayer and Frostnova, maybe? My eyes. Uh, Hearts and Ring Farseer. This is prime flame strike territory right here. And again, I'm guessing it's not a card they have. So the reason I did that, even though it wouldn't kill them, is I knew I could get them down to four, and if they do flame strike, I have an Argent Commander, which will do the last four points of damage, and I'll be able to use it on my next turn. Uh, I still have the hammer. Okay. Yeah, so even if they flame strike, I still had the hammer. So. So that went out pretty well. Um, 
So we did it. Level 15. The road to 15 has been successful. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here. This is uh, this has been fun. Uh, I'm gonna end the video here. Maybe maybe tomorrow I'll start an arena run or something or play strife again. I haven't decided yet. But uh, but here we are. The lofty heights of level 15, and I feel pretty good about it. Uh, Sefu, uh, really great game, and uh, I am gonna head out to Nara for now. Uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. And have a great day.